Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Sobelis channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about some of the best shoes to get if you are a point guard or a guard. And as a guard, you know, we are looking for shoes that are very responsive, right? You know, something lightweight, something we can feel very responsive and very quick in. So of course, it's gonna have very good traction. Cushion, of course, it shouldn't be too soft or you know, like too bouncy or have too much compression. It's more just like a very responsive ride. I guess good impact protection is good though. But cushion, I would say a more responsive ride is better. And of course, you don't really want anything clunky, you know, so, uh, something with good heel to toe transition and materials and stuff like that. Very minimal padding, very thin materials with good support, of course, because you know, a lot of guards, we're doing a whole lot of shifty movements. You know, we're using our speed to our advantage. Uh, but anyways, that's just kind of like the average, I would say, you know, of what a guard would want in a basketball shoe. If you guys want to cop any of these shoes, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the Brand Black Rare Metal 2. So this shoe is super expensive, it's 250 bucks, but it's a very nice shoe. You know, traction is really, really good. Cushion, you're very low to the ground, but you get pretty good impact protection. Heel to toe transition also is very smooth. And that shoe is extremely light. You know, it doesn't look light. It looks a little like heavy or even like bulky kind of. Uh, maybe not bulky, but it looks a little heavy, right? But it's actually not super thin materials. So the Rare Metal 2 is a great option. Just the price tag is pretty high. All right, next is uh, the Jordan 36, and the Jordan 36 is freaking phenomenal. It's one of the lightest Jordan shoes ever made in his entire line, and the traction is topped here. Really, really good traction. Cushion also, I wouldn't say it's the best cord feel, but it's still pretty good, and you get full length zoom strobe unit. I guess it's double stacked with the four foot zoom or whatever, but yeah, you feel that zoom unit, it's very bouncy, it's crazy. Some might even say it's a little too much, so obviously if you don't like the feeling of zoom, then uh, stay away from this shoe, but I, I like it. And uh, you feel like, you know, you feel fast, you feel explosive and stuff like that. So the cushioning setup is nice. I had no issues with support and the material with that leather weave is just extremely thin. So yeah, you're gonna feel very explosive and very quick on your feet in the Jordan 36. Also, uh, pretty expensive though. It's like 180 or $185. Uh, so expensive shoe, but still nonetheless, it's really nice. All right, next we got the Leaning Wow all city nine or the all city nine v2 the v2 is pretty much the same exact shoe but with straps and to be honest uh, i would prefer the straps because it's just easier you know it's it's a lot quicker as well with the flap tongue you get a little bit more lockdown with the straps as well and it's just more convenient too you know but anyways uh the ac9 AC9 V2, same exact traction, really good traction. Cushion, also I would say is really good. You know, it's a very good blend of everything. You know, good impact protection, little bit of compression in the heel. You get that boom pod in the forefoot, which feels nice. You feel low to the ground. It's just like a very responsive cushioning setup as well. Materials are thin in the forefoot, but you get a good amount of like padding in the ankle area and in the tongue, so it's cozy there. And uh, very good support and all that. So you're gonna feel very quick. It feels a little bulky though. It's a little bulky because it bubbles a little bit in the midsole, just a tiny bit. Uh, just like, you know, comparing it to like uh, the Rare Metal 2 or the Jordan 36, it's still not like super bulky. But then if you would want like a very, like a super minimal shoe, you know? But anyways, the AC9 and the AC9 V2 is, are a great option. All right, next we got the 361 degree Zen 3. The, the cushion, I would say is a little too soft, you know, especially at first, but it does bottom out. So just give it some time. Court feel is not the best either, uh, but impact protection is really good. And you do get a good amount of like rebound back and a little bit of bounce as well. But like I said, just give it some time and it'll like stiffen up a little bit if you think it's a little too soft. Traction also is phenomenal. You know, uh, I would say it picks up a little bit of dust, but you just do a little wipe, it should be good to go. Very good bite on the clean court, supports there. Material is very thin but also very comfortable with that textile and also just a really good looking shoe as well. So the Zen 3, very good option. All right, next of course is the Curry brand, Curry 8 Flow. I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> it's a very nice shoe. Traction is almost too good. Cushion, you're low to the ground, very responsive cushioning setup with adequate impact protection. Nothing crazy as far as like uh, compression or anything. And the material super thin, uh, it conforms to your foot, it's comfortable. You feel like a ninja when you're playing in it. And same thing goes with the Under Armour Flow Future X. That shoe is a lot cheaper. I did a whole versus video if you guys wanna check it out. Um, but yeah, the Flow Future X is pretty much the same exact shoe as the Curry 8, you know, but with like 
crappier materials and I guess also a little bit roomier of a fit in the toe box but anyways it's still super nice. Alright moving on to the next shoe we got the Puma Clyde All Pro as you guys all know the shoe is phenomenal the traction is really really good the cushion also is very responsive but you get a little bit of compression in the heel it's soft it's comfortable and also for stepping comfort as well material is just extremely thin like really really thin so when you put the shoe on it just feels like very very lightweight you know almost like to the point where it's just like it feels like you kind of have nothing on your foot you know that's how thin the material is support is all there for lateral containment and stuff like that and also it's a pretty good looking shoe so the puma clyde all pro is a phenomenal option all right next we got the new balance two-way uh the two-way is a phenomenal shoe it's a little expensive it's 140 bucks but the traction is really nice also it's pretty interesting it has a little bit of an outsole curvature you know, if you like the feeling of like old school Kyrie shoes, cushion also is very responsive. You get a little bit of rebound back, good impact protection, but you're still low to the ground. Material, although it's not like the best quality, especially for 140 bucks, it's still super thin, conforms to your foot, supportive. So all in all, the two-way is a great option. All right, next we got the Adidas Dame 7. Uh, the you know full-length light strike, especially in the heel, is like very, very soft actually. It does in the bottom out like light strike always does but at first it's gonna feel a little like soft so just watch out for that but it's still like very very comfortable the traction is good uh, materials i would say it's not the thinnest feeling material but it's still comfortable and it's not like too bulky or too thick or anything like that and i had no issues with support all right next we got the nike kd14 phenomenal shoe i really like playing in it of course if you're looking for total responsiveness from the cushioning setup you should probably stay away from it you know if you don't especially if you don't like zoom or zoom struggle uh because you know you do get that compression and feel a little bit slower than you would if you just had like a like a phylon right but anyways uh, in my opinion it's not too crazy or anything and i still like how it feels especially when i play cushion also is a little soft so just watch out for that but to be honest for me i don't really mind that traction is top tier materials are very very thin and support i had no issues with so the kd14 is one of my favorite shoes to play right now and you should definitely check it out all right next we got the nike kyrie low four and i guess the, the kyrie 7 you know i don't really play in the kyrie 7 as much i just i, I love playing in the kyrie low 4 a little bit better uh, it's just you know i like playing in low tops you know what i mean so anyways the traction is top tier phenomenal traction you get that outsole curvature as well a uh, cushion is also super responsive you know it's like full length cushion you know you expect it to be soft and nice but it's not feels like phylon <laughs> but um anyways at least it's low to the ground and responsive material is also super thin support i had absolutely zero issues with as well so the kairi low 4 you're gonna feel very very quick on your feet when you're playing in it all right moving on to the next shoe we got the nike zoom gt cut okay so uh, comparing it to like the kd14 and the jordan 36 as far as the cushioning setup goes i would say it feels more responsive than the jordan 36 and the kd14 because i don't know what they did in that shoe but it just feels very very low to the ground so it just feels a little bit more responsive in that shoe for the cushioning setup the traction is also top tier very very good bite i had no issues with support lateral containment or anything like that materials are also like pretty thin you know it doesn't feel bulky or anything it's just a super streamlined shoe the crazy thing is it's not the lightest shoe it was, it was like 13.5 ounces or something like that and uh, I was like pretty surprised when I saw the weight, but you know, you still feel very quick and very light on your feet for some reason in that shoe. So the Zoom GT Cut is a great option, but you know, it's expensive. It's like 170 or 175 bucks. All right, next we got a budget shoe and it's the Nike Precision 5. Great shoe. It's very underrated, I would say, but it's super cheap. It's like what, 70 or 80 bucks. Traction is really good. Cushion, very low to the ground, very responsive. Get a little bit of compression, so impact protection is adequate. Materials are also super thin, but you get, it's like a nice textile material, it feels comfortable. I had no issues with support or anything. It's a super lightweight shoe. So uh, the Precision 5, I mean, you should definitely check it out if you want something like very light, very minimal, and also super cheap. And same thing goes uh, for the Giannis Immortality. You know, 80 bucks traction is top tier cushion also you get a little bit of compression somehow i guess they made the foam kind of soft uh, but you still feel super low to the ground and very responsive it's not like too soft or laggy at all 
material is extremely thin. You know, a ferlato containment though, I wouldn't say it's the best. But to be honest, I had no issues with it. Um, but anyways, wrapping things up, all of these shoes are really, really good. Although some of them are a little bit different as far as like the overall feeling goes. A lot of them are still really, really good. If you want to feel very light on your feet, very quick and also super responsive. So anyways, again, if you guys do want to copy any of these shoes, I'll try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.